The purpose of this video is to explain the drive enable option in an animatic smart motor. The drive enable option is a hardware option, not a firmware option. It is also known as DE, and DE will be in the part number of a motor that has the drive enable option. The drive enable feature allows you to be able to separate the amplifier power, which can be found on the 7 pin connector, from the control power, which can be found on the 15 pin connector. Without the drive enable option, you will have the control power and the amplifier power internally tied together in those connectors. Here's an example of where you would need the drive enable feature. When you want to have an e-stop situation and kill the amplifier power, for example, stop the motor motion, but still leave the controller powered up so it can remember what position it is in, that is when you would want to get the drive enable feature. This allows you not the ability to keep position and remember where you are, and then you have no need to rehome the motor every time you kill power to the motor. If you did kill power to the controller, yes, you would have to rehome it. We do highly recommend for any e stop situation to use a protective shunt across the drive's DC side of the drive power. The drive power and the control power can each accept 24 to 48 volts DC. You can use the same power supply, but maximum protection is provided when you use separate power supplies. And this is the DE option for there.